You're on. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Rosie. Hi, guys. Hi, April. Hi, Linda. I hope all you guys are having a good day. I am here with your Bible reading. We started reading chapter 11 yesterday in Romans. So we're going to continue on with chapter 11 today. It's a really good reading today. We'll be reading Romans chapter 11. Wait, I'm sure I'm going to get his place. Waiting for you guys to get your place. Romans chapter 11, verses 13 through 36. And our psalm is Psalm 22, verses 1 through 18. 18 verses. And our Proverbs is chapter 20, verse 7. So I'll give you a minute for all you guys to get your places here. I'll make sure we're in the new international version. Ready when you guys are. Sure, I'm sure you're ready. All right, we're going to be starting with Romans. I am talking to you Gentiles, and as much as I am the apostle to the Gentiles, I take pride in my ministry, in the hope that I may somehow arouse my own people to envy and save some of them. For if their rejection brought reconciliation to the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? If the part of the dough offered as first fruits is holy, then the whole batch is holy, the root is holy, so are the branches. If some of the branches have broken off, and you, though a wild olive shoot, have been crafted in among the others and now share in the nourishing sap from the olive shoot, do not consider yourself to be superior to those other branches. If you do consider this, you do not support the root, but the root supports you. You will say then, branches were broken off so that I could be crafted in. Granted, but they were broken off because of unbelief, and you stand by faith. Do not be arrogant, but tremble. For if God did not spare the natural branches, he will not spare you either. Consider, therefore, the kindness and sternness of God. Sternness to those who fell, but kindness to you, provided that you continue in his kindness. Otherwise, you also will be cut off. And if they do not persist in unbelief, they will be crafted in. For God is able to craft them in again. After all, if you were cut out of an olive, shoot, out of an olive tree, that is wild by nature, and contrary to nature, were crafted into a cultivated olive tree, how much more readily will these, the natural branches, be crafted into their own olive tree? I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of the Gentiles has come in, and in this way all Israel will be saved, as it is written. The Deliverer will come from Zion, God loves Zion, and he will turn godlessness away from Jacob. And this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. As far as the gospel is concerned, they are enemies for the sake, enemies for your sake, but as far as election is considered, they are loved on account of the patriarchs. For God's gifts and his call are irrevocable. 
just as you who were at one time disobedient to God have now received mercy as a result of their disobedience. So they too have now become disobedient in order that they too may now receive mercy as a result of God's mercy to you. For God has bound everyone over to disobedience so that he may have mercy on them all. Now we're going to read the doxology. Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable his judgments and his past beyond tracing out! Who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Who has ever given to God that God should repay them? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. And that's where we're stopping with Romans for today, guys. Our song today is a little bit longer, which I'm happy about. Because you know I love the Psalms. And I love, love, love the Psalms of David. Give me one second here to look for something here. For the director of music to the tune of The Doe of the Morning, a Psalm of David. You guys ready for this? All right, here we go. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me? So far from my cries of anguish, my God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer. By night, but I find no rest. Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One. You are the one Israel praises. In you our ancestors put their trust, and they trusted, and you delivered them. To you have cried out and were saved. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not a man, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They hurl insults, shaking their heads. He trusts in the Lord, they say. Let the Lord rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. Yet you brought me out of the womb. You made me trust in you even at my mother's breast. From birth I was cast on you. From my mother's womb you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Many bulls surround me, strong bulls of Bashan encircle me, roaring lions that tear their prey open, their mouths wide against me. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart has turned to wax. It is melted within me. My mouth is dried up like a pot shirt, and my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. And lay me in the dust of death. Dogs surround me. A pack of villains encircle me. They pierce my hands and my feet. All the bones are on display. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. And that was Psalm 22, verses 1 through 18. You know what this is referring to. This is referring to Jesus. You know how Jesus, they cast, cast lots for Jesus' clothes. They put Jesus on display. And they gloated over him. Let the Lord save him if he's really the Son of God. And he, he was thirsty, and they gave him vinegar to drink. So, you know, of course, he didn't drink it. This was referring to what happened to Jesus. And Jesus was going to say this, some of this stuff. His cries in anguish. When he said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? 
when he was hung on the cross. And the bulls surround me. He's talking about the people, the Romans and the people, the Jews, the Romans, the ones that hated Jesus and the ones who had him crucified, the ones who were crucifying him. Roaring lions that tear their prey, open their mouths wide against me. And they beat him so bad, remember? Before he was even hung on the cross. So this is referring to Jesus. Jesus said some of these things himself. Now let's go to our Proverbs today, which is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7. The righteous lead blameless lives. Blessed are their children after them. And that was Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7. Okay, guys, that was our Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. We are going to go to Sherm's question from last night. And the question for last night was... What much married king is considered the author of the Song of Songs. And that was in the book of um, the Song of Solomon. And you guys, this was an easy one. You should have got it um, if you went and looked for it. Or if you already know it. It was very easy. So, And the answer you should have came up with is... Solomon. Solomon. King Solomon. All right, and your homework question for tonight is? Let me find one. I love this lotion, guys, from Avon. It's a Christmas one, I don't know. Somebody was selling at the lot my aunt goes to on Fridays. It's like a yard sale lot. They go, they sell stuff on the internet and go there and switch stuff back and forth, buy it from each other. But anyway, she got me some of this lotion for my birthday. And it's Avon Skin So Soft Signature Silk. I've about used it all already in three days. It's just a little bottle, 1.5 fluid ounces, but it's so soft and smooth. It really does feel like silk, and it smells so good. Okay. I told my aunt I wanted to order a big bottle of it. They should have it in the regular size bottles now. And your question, homework question for tonight is? Who was the last king of Israel? And you guys have had that question before. So let's see if you remember the answer to that. If you need help, you may get help finding it in... Second um, Kings. You can find the answer to that in 2 Kings. Who was the last king of Israel? All right, let's get out our prayer books. Moses, Oh, they scheduled my MRI today, by the way. It's for Wednesday. You don't know what time that was, I'm sure. No. I'll have to look. I wrote it on a box in the bedroom. So I was asleep when they called. Alright, guys, let's keep. Sandy in our prayers. She's off the next couple days, but we want to keep praying for her when she goes back to work to have a good work environment. Let's keep April and Linda Thacker in our prayers, health reasons. Let's keep Eric in our prayers. He needs a kidney. Please put him on your prayer list at church. We need prayers for Macy. She's 16 and has a brain tumor. We keep want to keep asking and praying to God to please take it away. So she also needs on your prayer list at church if you'll put her on there. And Kenny Wellman, he needs a kidney as well. So please, if you will, put him on your 
list at church too. Please pray for Sherman Crabtree. So far his tongue's not getting any better with that medicine. So I don't know what to do here. I had because it should be working by now. I mean it did for me. So you know, I might have to make an appointment to go back. Because that medicine's not helping. And we want to pray for Sherman to be able to get a miracle to get a car. So really we really need one. Let's pray for Cindy Welsh. She'll be having surgery here at the beginning of next month. We want to pray that they get it all this time. We want to pray for Rhonda Karshner, health reasons. Pray for Christopher Surback. He's not going to be able to come this weekend to stay at the because he's staying at his dad's right now for a couple of days. There's issues going on down there with them right now. Let's keep Abby and Jimmy Myers in our prayers. Those two need to be put on your church list, prayer list as well, really bad. They're only 17 and 15, and trust me. They've been through it and are still going through it. They really need prayer, bad. Please pray for Matt Nichols, who's in prison. Please pray for Shannon and her son Giovanni. Please pray for Donald and Kathy Keller. Roy and Lori Mollett. Barb Post, Joe Osborne, Debbie Lee, Tammy Ashworth, Brandy Post, Jody Mahorder, and Ronnie Mahorder, and my cousin Jules friend Brenda, who is in the James Cancer Hospital with cancer on her liver. So that is very, that's very bad. So she really needs God's healing touch. So please keep her in your prayers. I'll tell you guys something I forgot. Something about that last one. I can't remember. But um, I will let you guys go. Let's say a short prayer and then we'll be done for the day. Brother Jesus and Father, please watch over everyone watching this video. Please let it have touched at least one person's heart so that they will share your word with someone else. And in turn, that person may share your word and we might help bring a soul to Jesus. That's what our whole mission is, Father, to bring souls to Jesus. Please watch over everyone in our prayer books. Please let Sandy have good nights at work. Please let Eric and Kenny get the kidneys they need. Please take away Macy's brain tumor. Please let Sherm get a car and fix whatever's wrong with his tongue. Please help him stomach and his headaches. Please just help him feel better all the way around and do better all the way around. Please be with Cindy when she has her surgery next month and please let them get it all. Please be with Abby and Jimmy Myers. You know what they're going through and they really need you, Father. Please be with Shannon and her little son, Giovanni. Please. Give Giovanni your healing touch, Father. And please give Shannon and his mom and him both support and comfort. And please, um, please watch over Brenda, Jules' friend who's in the James Cancer Hospital with cancer on her liver. We know that's not good, but we know you're much more powerful than cancer, Father. And if it's your will, you will save her. I know that. But it may be. May, that may not be her, your will. We don't know, but we ask that whatever your will is, your will be done as always. Because your judgment is the best, and we just got to have faith in that. So we love you, brother in Jesus and Father. I love you, brother Jesus and Father, with all my heart and soul. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, we are done for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye guys, God bless.